Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Gigi's Faith. My name is Giselle. For those who are new here, I am a faith-based creator. And today I want to talk to you about waiting on God, waiting patiently on the Lord. Because let me tell y'all, waiting can be difficult. Today is a nice cozy day inside. It's currently cloudy outside. It was raining. I don't know if it's going to keep raining, but if it does, I don't mind it. Um, I live in Florida, so when it rains, that means we got cool weather coming. So I'm excited about that because it's November and I love me some cool weather. But today I was just cleaning. I was listening to some worship music, meditating on the words and the lyrics. And God has been ministering to me in such a powerful way these past few days, maybe a week or two. And... I'm in this waiting journey, y'all, and this waiting journey is so difficult. Um, I think when you walk with the Lord, you're constantly asking God for, for something, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he's tired of us asking. And when we want to be faithful and we want to be obedient to God, we, we go through this waiting process. We go through praying to God and waiting for his response on a lot of things. And I came across something that I had written down a long time ago. I'm talking about when I was like maybe 17, 18 years old. And I'm 31 now, so you can imagine. But I, I wrote this verse down and I think to this day, this verse still impacts me the same way. And, you know, as he's been ministering to me these few weeks, um, Everything that I've been coming across is just waiting on God, trusting in his time, trusting that he will answer me, trusting that he is listening to me, trusting that, you know, he's going to answer my prayer, but not the way that I expect. I feel like that's what God's been ministering to me, that he will come through, but I just got to give him time. I got to be patient. Just so be patient, you know, and it's, it's so hard. And maybe one day, you know, once I'm ready, I will testify this waiting journey um, because right now, as I'm going through it, it's very hard. It's difficult. And yeah, anyways, let's get to this topic. But waiting on the Lord, I wrote this verse down when I was young, like I mentioned. And it's in Psalms 40, verse 1, and it's written by David. I love David. David is, he, he knows how to write, and he knows how to express himself to God. And I think I admire that about David because he just pours out his heart to God in such a beautiful way. Like, I, I truly love the book Psalms because not just David, the way it's written, um, yeah these prayers man they go deep but in psalms 40 verse 1 it says i waited patiently for the lord he turned to me and heard my cry you know there's moments in life where we're going through certain situations certain problems where we just start feeling lonely we start feeling anxious we start feeling depressed because the answers are not coming fast enough and we feel like there is no solution to our problems or we get so caught up in it that instead of waiting on God, we take it into our own hands and what do we do? We mess things up. And that's, it's normal. We're humans, you know, it happens. We, we want to get things done right away and we take a job position that wasn't meant from God. We start dating someone who was definitely not meant from God, but we were so impatient to have someone there. We ended up in that relationship or we ended up in a friendship that should have never started. Whatever the situation is, right? It doesn't have to be in a relationship. It can be anything. It can be from a job to, I don't even know, any life circumstances. Um, we make decisions that we might later on regret. And it was because we didn't wait on God. We didn't wait on his signal. We didn't wait on his green light. Patiently waiting, you know, it's, it's the capacity to calmly endure something and y'all i cannot calmly wait on anything okay i can be at a red light and if the light turns green and they don't move 
the second that light turns green and I'm constantly like waiting, my first instinct is to beep the horn like, yo, I do it in a nice way, like beep beep, like, you know, let's go, you know. That's not, that's not waiting patiently. That's not calmly enduring this person to put the phone down to keep driving. <laughs> but um, when it comes to God, you know, when it comes to the spiritual aspect of things, it's, it's hard. It's very hard to wait, you know, to wait on God. David, in this particular moment, you know, he, David was being persecuted. David, they were looking for him. They wanted to kill David. David did a lot of things. David, but one thing I do know is David loved God. In Psalms 18, I'm looking down, I'm reading my notes. Psalms 18, it says, David sang to the Lord the words of his song when the Lord delivered him from all the hands of his enemies. I wanted to read Psalms 18, verse six. It says, in my distress, David was distressed. Giselle is distressed. But in my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ear. How beautiful is it that when we cry out to God, and I'm not talking about like, oh my God, God, please, like come to, no, I'm not talking about that, okay? No, 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 scratch that. I'm talking about when you get on your knees and you have a true, genuine, like heart to heart with God, and you cry out to God and you say, God, like I truly need you in my life right now. This circumstance, this problem, this situation is taking over me and I need you. I'm talking about when you are at the point of no turning back, when you're at the point of you can't find any more solutions, when you're at the point that you cannot do it on your own and when you just humble yourself and you just give it to God, when you just give in, you're just like, you know what, God? All right, you win. You, you got me. Take over. God truly listens to us. You know, I, I have my ugly cries with God, and I think those are the best cries, and those are my best prayers with God, because like David, I cry in my distress, and I cry on to God, and I know that God is listening to me and is helping me one because when i cry out to god i don't say god answer me right now but what i do ask you know from god is to give me peace and i know that god's not going to answer my prayer right there and then because it's a process it's it's a journey but at that moment i say god all i want from you is peace Give me peace so that I can continue on with my day. Give me peace so that my anxieties just vanish away from me. Give me peace that I can endure and keep walking and firmly standing on the rock that is you, Lord. And he comes through with that. And with me getting up from prayer, I feel such a peace over me. And I know that God heard me. And I know that even though he might not be answering my other petitions, my miracle whatever it is that i'm asking for i know that at least he heard me cry for peace and he's giving it to me and you know in our distress we have to cry out to god we have to believe you know that god is faithful god will come through y'all like he will truly come through for you but you have to wait patiently on god you know we can't rush things you know David in his affliction, in his problem, in that desperation that he was in, he cried out to God in, in his distress. And God delivered him from his enemies. God delivered him from his problems. God will deliver you from whatever you're going through. Growing in God is very difficult, but we have to choose his ways. We have to be obedient. We have to look for him we have to pray we have to fast we have to do things to better our spirits so that this waiting journey can only be easier instead of harder when we don't look for god when we don't seek god we start feeling anxious we start getting desperate and we start doing things on our own will 
If we look at another character in the Bible, Jonah, you know, Jonah, Jonas, you know, you know Jonah didn't listen to the, God, the word of God and you know what happened to him, right? He got swallowed by this, by this fish and he was three days and three nights in this giant fish. And actually, let's, let's go to Jonah. Let's, let's go read Jonah for a second. Where are you, Jonah? Jonah chapter two, verse one and two. And it says, from the inside of the fish, Jonah prayed to the Lord, his God. He said, in my distress, bruh, in my distress, I called to the Lord and he answered me. From the deep in the realm of the dead, I called for help and you listened to my cry. Seriously? So not only did David cry in his distress, but so did Jonah. Jonah cried out in his distress and God heard him and God answered him. You know, we have to pray to God and in the right moment, in the right time, God will come through with your answer. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe a year from now, maybe five years from now, but God is faithful and he will answer it. And he, he said it, he will do it. He will come through. And it's all within God's will, right? If it's God's will in our lives for certain things, then he will answer those prayers. And if it's not God's will, he will still answer you and he will show you the right way that you should do or that you should walk or that you should go. Here we also see Jonah crying out to God in his distress, just like David. He was stuck in this fish, you know, there was no light. He was like, what am I doing in here? Um, I can't, I can't even imagine being inside of a fish, like, ugh, no. But just imagine Jonah being in there. And in that moment, all he could do was call out to God. There was no one else to call out to. In moments like this, you need to call out to God. When it comes to something so personal and so deep inside of your soul, inside of your heart, you know, giving God the problems, giving God your anxieties, casting on to Him, you know, your problems and situations is what's gonna help you. We shouldn't wait till the problems are so big and so bad that then we start looking for God. We should constantly be looking for God in the good and in the bad. I know that it's our instinct that when something bad happens, we automatically start praying then. But in the good, we still have to know that God is working in our favor because everything is good. But in the bad, we also have to do the same thing. And we also have to give gratitude in the bad because in the bad is what's getting us closer to God. There's, there's certain circumstances that come to our lives that confuse us, that distract us. You know, we have to know that he is with us and that he will answer in his perfect timing. Everything is about perfect timing. And I've been hearing that throughout this whole entire week, week and a half. It's at his time. It's, it's truly is at his time. You know, we shouldn't feel discouraged because God is listening to our cry. God is listening to our prayer. Um, and if God is, you know, not answering your prayer right this minute, ask God for peace. That's one of my biggest things. When I start crying out of nowhere because I'm in my feelings, I'm in my emotions, I just cry to God and say, God, give me peace. If there's anything you can do, just give me peace that I can continue on and wipe your tears away. It's time to wipe your tears away. Know that God is telling you, wait on me, wait patiently on me, and you're gonna get through this. It might, it might be days, might have been months, might be years. And whatever the time frame is that you're waiting on God to answer your prayer, to answer your miracle, whatever it is you're asking God for, He will come through and He will answer you. It might not be how we expect it. It might not be how we want it to be. But God and His mercy, He will answer us in His perfect time and in the way that he sees fit to answer us. Because sometimes he can answer us in the most simplest way and we completely ignore it. 
and sometimes God has to just, you know, for me, primarily, he has to knock me outside the head a couple times and be like, just so I already answered you, you're just not listening. <laughs> if you haven't listened to that song um, by Elevation Worship in Maverick City, Wait On You, I suggest you go and YouTube it. Um, that's been my theme song these past couple of weeks, amongst other songs, but Waiting On The Lord, because I've already tasted his goodness, I trust in his promises, and I'm gonna wait on him. And I hope that one day I can sit here and testify to you guys because there's so much in my heart that I pray to God for, but I know it's all in due time. I just pray to God, guide me in the right way of you know, what you want me to do. But not to make this video any longer, wait on God, guys. You know, David, you know, cried out to the Lord and he answered him. Jonah cried out to the Lord and he answered him. And if we cry out to God with a genuine and sincere heart, he will answer us. He will truly answer you. And in the meantime, while you wait, ask God for peace. You know, peace will get you through it. His mercy and his love will walk with you in the middle of the storm, in the middle of your situation. Know that you're not alone. We are all going through something, whether it's big or small. My problems might not be the same as yours, but we're in the waiting journey and we're in the waiting room and we're gonna keep on waiting until it's our turn. And when it's our turn, we are gonna rejoice in the Lord. We're gonna rejoice. Um, comment down below if you're waiting for a, you know, a miracle, if you're waiting for, for God to answer a prayer. As I wait for mine, I want to be able to pray for others who are waiting on a miracle, who are waiting on results to come back from the doctors, for those who are waiting on papers, whatever document, legal documents you're waiting for. Whatever the situation is, comment down below if you need prayer, let me know, and I will wait with you in our waiting room until each of us get our prayers answered. We're gonna sing in victory because God is amazing, God is good. If you have not yet joined my YouTube fam, subscribe down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell for any upcoming videos. And I can't wait to see what else God has for you guys. But until then, you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, week, morning, afternoon, whatever, however you're watching this. Um, but yeah, comment down below. Let me know if you need prayer and I will see you guys later. Bye